Okay, so now let me talk a little bit more, uh, like I said in this uh, longer video, in this second longer video, because I normally, if I have time enough, I will be uploading about, you know, like two longer videos a day or something like that. It really depends the news that we have or, or the topic uh, I want to talk about or something like that. But it's typically uh, about two videos, two longer videos a day or something like that. So. In this video, I wanted to talk to you all about the exciting news that we got last night about the new style, the new Real Madrid Carlo Ancelotti is building up because apparently it's kind of, you know, kind of revolution what he's implementing in Real Madrid right now. Because if you think about it, it's got to be apparently according to the um, information that Jose, Jose Luis Sanchez in El Chiringuito revealed last night Real Madrid will be a completely different squad, a completely different team when it comes to, you know, strategy and formations and all the stuff because apparently Carlo Ancelotti wants to build up a super offensive, aggressive and vertical team. I mean, a very straight up team for the next season and forget everything about what we saw the last two seasons regarding to you know speculation with the score and of course moving sideways all the time and getting bored and frustrated every single time we had to watch a game of Real Madrid because sometimes let's be honest man it was really boring I mean I understand why Zinedine Zidane uh, was using those tactics it was pretty much because we didn't have the super attack we used to have back in the day you know so I, I get it I understand why Zinedine Zidane wants to be conservative and, and you know um, to form with you know players that normally try to control and keep the ball in control and try to create chances but without taking any risks and all the stuff so I pretty much understand why why Real Madrid was was like you know and was or used to play that way I really understand but honestly man if I a Madridista if I a Real Madrid fan what I want to see is pretty much to my players flying around flying back and forth all the time carrying the ball like you know like skyrockets and apparently what is it that is exactly what Carlo Ancelotti wants to see in this next Real Madrid but there is a kind of you know I'm not going to say a problem but it's a kind of obstacles on the way for Carlo Ancelotti to build up uh, such a great team you know because back in the day it was in my opinion a little bit easier to build up that kind of team because if you think about it the formation it was pretty much the 4-3-3 with of course Cristiano Ronaldo, Gareth Bale and Karim Benzema in the attack so when you have such a great players man it's pretty obvious that the most uh, common the most logical strategy you will use is a kind of vertical and aggressive and offensive strategy or character or whatever you want to call it so it was not a surprise for me at all to see that kind of formation in those days from the uh, you know the first period of Carlo Ancelotti and even then uh, all the way to Zinedine Zidane but these days man when we don't have a Cristiano Ronaldo in the squad when we don't know what is going to happen to Gareth Bale if, if he will be you know the best player he used to be or even just um, Karim Benzema when you don't know that I mean and if you already are hinting that you will play with the same style with the same vertical style super aggressive super offensive building up super sharp counter attacks that way when you don't have to the best players in the world is I mean, this guy is is a very bold. I mean, it's a very bold move for Carlo Ancelotti to try to create that kind of squad. You know what I'm saying? So I'm pretty excited to see it. But let me tell you what: the problem is not only that you don't have anymore to Cristiano Ronaldo or someone similar. The problem here is all the bunch of players, all the bunch of good names that you already have, but really, really don't match that kind of you know f um, uh, features or characteristics for the kind of team you want to build up for example say 
what are you gonna do with players like for example um Gareth Bale Rodrigo Goes Marco Asensio because as you know all these players play in the same position and if you want to be vertical what you have to have in the squad is a couple of wingers super sharp super fast that goes up straight up to the goal like a rocket and then you have players you have a player like for example Marco Asensio which, which is very you know is is the kind of players who is moving the ball all the time sideways and doesn't really create any danger to the rival you know what I'm saying so that is not the profile you would want for that kind of squat for that kind of vertical style you know what I'm saying so how are you going to do that are you going to rule out to Marco Asensio for the squad right are you going to get rid of Marco Asensio for the next season is that what you're trying to tell me so now it's not only Marco Asensio you also have to Rodrigo Goes. I mean, what is going to happen to Rodrigo Goes if Gareth Bale is in the squad again? Are you going to try to use Rodrigo Goes ahead of Gareth Bale? Even when the stats are and the odds are against Rodrigo Goes, because Gareth Bale in Tottenham um, scored more goals and produced much more goals than Rodrigo Goes and Asensio combined? Or are you trying to um, are you going to try to recover the best version of Gareth Bale for that side of the field? And of course, when it comes to the left side, it's pretty much the same. Number one, what are you going to do with Hazard? What is going to happen with the Belgian player? Because he was supposed to be the best player, but he's not. I mean, it's been two years without seeing nothing really interesting from Ine Hazard. So are you going to give him another chance this year? And then, what is going to happen to Vinicius Jr? Because if you want to create, if you want to build up a super vertical squad, Vinicius Jr. is your guy. Because Vinicius is the kind of player for, you know, the one-on-one -on -one situations and trying to face off the rival goal and try to go ahead and get around and get away with the ball uh, from, the, from the rival, from the defenders and break up the defense, uh, the the backline of the rival and all the stuff so Vinicius Junior is much more vertical than Eden Hazard so who are you going to put two ahead of each other you know what I'm saying who are you going to pick ahead of the other Vinny Vinicius Junior or Eden Hazard that is the other question and then and this is even worse what is going to happen if Kylian Mbappe is enabled to sign for Real Madrid or what is going to happen if you finally get to Kylian Mbappe are you going to let on the bench to Hazard and Vinicius Jr what are you going to do man I mean there are a lot of questions popping up in the air man that must be or must have an answer and really quick I mean I'm okay with that don't get me wrong I really love I really you know, I'm really looking forward to see this kind of vertical Real Madrid because it's got to be completely different, a different story, you know, if you compare it to Real Madrid Sidans, you know. But the problem is, how are you going to do that? Because there are a lot of questions in the air that I really don't know how to answer, you know. So I'm okay with that. We are in the right way again, again. We are, you know, we have chosen, in my opinion, the right path because when it comes to Real Madrid, man, you have to be the most competitive team in Europe. And of course, the only way to really level up and face off teams like Chelsea, Manchester City, Bayern de Munich, PSG, you really have to have a squad vertical, aggressive, with initiative, with, you know, um, super offensive, super sharp, super fast with players that really speed up and scale up every single attack things like that man so how are you going to do that i don't know hopefully Ancelotti has the the plan and the ideas and and can show the all of us that he's right and we can see the best version of real madrid ever seen so now let me know your thoughts about that just comment in the description below of course subscribe to my channel real madrid 